Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today I'm going to finally fix the fluid leaks on the 1967 Mustang and wrap up a few other to-do items. Today I'm just going to dive straight into fixing the fluid leaks on the 302 and the 67 Mustang and doing a few other to-do items including swapping out the valve covers and water neck for the powder coated pieces off of the 289. So rather than talk about it, I'm just going to dive right into it, get some work done, and then see where we end up. One day and one wash for the Mustang later and we have tested the cooling system. There don't seem to be any more leaks, everything's dry and it all looks good. So as you saw in the time lapse, I didn't replace the ceiling on the intake manifold because I didn't see the oil leak being that big of a deal and the more I looked at it, the more it looked like it was just a tiny small little bit that was pushing it just to trace enough out that I could see the fluorescing. So what we did is just retorque everything down and make sure that it looked sealed and then we'll just check it again later. By far the biggest culprit in the scenario was the cooling leak and that's addressed by putting on the other water neck with a silicone backing instead of an O-ring and just making sure it was sealed nice and tight. We've got no more leaks, everything tested good on the pressure tester as well as on the test drive, so I think we're okay, but I'm going to drive it to work for the next week or so, make sure that no leaks develop, everything looks good, I'll drain the coolant one more time and put in some better coolant. Um, and I also found some metal filings stuck to the magnetic drain plug on the radiator that I'd like to narrow down where they're coming from, but that could be part of the break-in process or maybe part of the water pump is eating itself, who knows. So I'll have to figure that out as I go. Once I have everything tested, I can move on to finishing the air conditioning system and I'll get a video out in the not too distant future detailing that installation process. So as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.